If humans, like some sea creatures, could emit their own light, an intriguing phenomenon known as bioluminescence? This is the question that opens our journey today into the realm of the unseen, yet it exists, the luminous human. Bioluminescence, a term as mesmerizing as the phenomenon it describes. Originating from the Greek words bios, meaning life, and lumen, meaning light, bioluminescence is the production and emission of light by a living organism. It's a spectacle that's commonly seen in nature, particularly in the depths of our vast oceans, where the darkness is punctuated by the ethereal glow of marine life. From the enchanting dance of fireflies on a warm summer night, to the ghostly radiance of deep-sea creatures, bioluminescence has always sparked our curiosity and wonder. But what if I told you that this beautiful phenomenon isn't just limited to the depths of the ocean or the tranquility of a forest? What if I told you that it's closer than you think that it's within you? Yes, you heard that right. We humans too possess this fascinating ability to glow, to emit light. This is what we call human bioluminescence. However, unlike our bioluminescent brethren in the marine world, our glow isn't easily visible to the naked eye. You might not see it when you look in the mirror or when you gaze into the eyes of your loved ones, but it's there, a soft, subtle radiance that's constantly emitted from your skin. And while it might not be as dazzling as the glow of a jellyfish or as captivating as the flash of a firefly, it's a testament to the incredible complexity and beauty of the human body. Intriguingly, a group of Japanese scientists embarked on a journey to study this in 2009. A journey that took them into the heart of this luminous mystery, shedding light on the fascinating yet often overlooked glow of the human body. But more on that in the next scene. In 2009, a dedicated team of Japanese scientists decided to dive deeper into the phenomenon of human bioluminescence. With an insatiable curiosity that led them into the heart of a mystery, they embarked on a mission to illuminate the invisible glow of the human body. This team of intrepid investigators chose a methodical and rigorous approach to their study. They were driven by a single question. Does the human body truly emit light? And if so, how and when? To answer this, they gathered a group of volunteers and used ultra-sensitive cameras capable of detecting the faintest of light emissions. These weren't your everyday cameras. They were designed to pick up even the tiniest spark of light. A photon here, a photon there. The kind of light that our eyes just can't see. The team had to ensure the experiment was conducted in absolute darkness. Any stray light or heat sources could interfere with the delicate measurements. So they went to great lengths to control the environment, maintaining a consistent room temperature and making sure no artificial light could infiltrate the experimental setting. The participants were placed in a room, one at a time, in front of the camera. Each session lasted for several hours with photos taken every few minutes. The scientists painstakingly recorded the data, ensuring every detail was captured with precision. They observed the glow from various parts of the body, noting the intensity and location of the bioluminescence. And what they found was fascinating. The glow was not constant, it fluctuated throughout the day. The brightest spots appeared around the forehead, neck and cheeks in the late afternoon, while the dimmest bioluminescence was recorded late at night. This meticulous investigation opened up a new perspective on the human body, revealing a side of ourselves that remained hidden, waiting to be discovered. It showed us that we are, quite literally, beings of light, even if our eyes can't perceive it. The results of their study, as it turned out, were nothing short of illuminating. The Japanese scientists found that the human body indeed glows, emitting a small amount of visible light. It's astounding, isn't it? The thought that our bodies, in their everyday functioning, emit light, but let's delve deeper into what the research revealed. The Japanese scientists conducted a series of experiments and observed that the participants indeed glowed throughout the day. Yes, you heard it right. Throughout the day, not just for a fleeting moment, now this glow wasn't uniform. It changed as the day progressed, with some areas of the body shining brighter than others. Want to guess where? Quite intriguingly, the brightest spots were found around the forehead, neck and cheeks. And when did this luminary peak occur? It was not at the crack of dawn or the stroke of midnight, but in the late afternoon. 
Imagine that, just as the sun begins to descend, our bodies take over, emitting their own faint light. But just as the world quiets down, so does our glow. The dimmest bioluminescence, as per the study, was recorded late at night. As we surrender to the realm of dreams, our bodies too seem to dim their lights, as if respecting our time of rest and rejuvenation. What an incredible dance of light our bodies perform unbeknownst to us. A dance that goes on day after day, night after night, synchronized with our life's rhythm. A dance that we are a part of, yet cannot see. Our bodies are not just vessels carrying us through the journey of life. They are luminous entities participating in the grand spectacle of existence. They glow, they dim, and in the process, they paint a picture of our life's rhythm. A picture that we're yet to fully comprehend. So it appears we do glow, but why can't we see it? This question, my dear listeners, opens up a whole new world of exploration. Let's dive further into this mystery in the next scene. While the fact that we emit light is fascinating, it begs the question, why can't we see it? You see, human bioluminescence, while undeniable, is not visible to our naked eye. This is due to the fact that the light we emit is about a thousand times weaker than the sensitivity threshold of our eyes. Imagine trying to spot a single firefly in a brightly lit stadium. It's there, but the surrounding light is just too overpowering for us to notice it. In the grand scale of light intensities, human bioluminescence is like a whisper in a bustling city, a mere flicker in the vast expanse of radiance. We glow, yes, but not in a way that's perceptible to our human senses. Our bodies are not like those of a jellyfish or firefly, organisms that have evolved to utilize their glow for communication or defense. Our glow is more subtle, more nuanced, and far less visible. But just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not important. This phenomenon of human bioluminescence has captivated scientists and researchers alike, leading to numerous studies and investigations. Whether it's exploring the possibility of using this glow as a marker for medical conditions or harnessing it for innovative imaging techniques, human bioluminescence holds a treasure trove of potential applications. Imagine, for instance, a future where doctors could use our glow to detect early signs of disease or monitor the effectiveness of a treatment. Or consider a world where bioluminescence could be used to create organic light sources, reducing our reliance on artificial lighting. The possibilities are as vast as they are intriguing. In conclusion, our invisible glow is a testament to the complex and incredible nature of the human body. It's a subtle reminder of our connection to all living things, a silent echo of the biological brilliance that pervades our world. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember, you are glowing even if you can't see it. Human bioluminescence, a phenomenon once considered the stuff of science fiction, is a scientific fact. This incredible revelation of our own glow, though invisible to the naked eye, is a testament to the marvel of human biology. To recap, a team of Japanese scientists embarked on a journey of discovery in 2009, unearthing the reality that we, as humans, emit visible light. This light peaks in the late afternoon, illuminating the forehead, neck and cheeks with its brightest radiance, before dipping to its dimmest late at night. Why can't we see this glow, you may ask? The answer lies in the subtlety of this bioluminescence. It's just too dim for our eyes to detect, but don't let this discourage you. Even if our eyes fail to perceive it, the glow is there, an affirmation of our own luminescence.